What is up guys, my name is Karo and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. And for those who say that I'm late, na 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 Oh, hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me. From the distance, oh, she's a girl, never mind. <laughs> Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. My Sayori. Uh, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other after, for, other for so long and I can't speak English. We used to walk to the school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she is going to chase me after, like, af chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk, and let Sayori catch up with me, catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I think this voice is good for her. I overslept again. But I caught you. But I caught you this time. Uh, what? <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. E, you say that you like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Cairo. Well, if people stare at you or for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we are a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you have, if you, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. <laughs> to me, it's just like a dating simulator right now. <laughs> As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cairo, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Saru likes to wor worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on an average just getting by on a, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I wonder that you won't learn how to so 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 socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming an N-E-E-T, what the fuck is that, in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Fuck off my mouse, not mic. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you, dot dot dot. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least prom will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yeah <laughs> Oh shit, I just skipped that, never mind. Oh shit, sorry. More than that, I'm surprised I even let uh, oh okay. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind. At least a little bit, even if she does not exa if even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The transition, though. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before you know it, before I know it. 
After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I am the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you. Uh, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the class classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Will, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know, know what. Well, uh, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's no there's no way I'm going to your club. E mini. <laughs> Sayori is vice president to the literature club. Shit. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. I can't clip. What the fuck? I am going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you take what? Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, she is, or if she is so cunning as to have planned all of this out. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the- oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club! Uh, what one should I give up? Welcome to the Literature Club! It's a pleasure meeting you! Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Way to kill the atmosphere! I'm like, damn, nice, good enough. Boy! What was should I give her? Ah, Cairo. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible. I can't even speak. Full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! S sorry. Natsuki. Natsuki? Humph! <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is, the, is one that I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Cherry says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, 
This is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears compar comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice meeting you. Meet. Pfft, it's nice to meet both of you. Ah, and it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's uh, what was regular. That's right. It's great seeing you again, Kyra. Monica, sm <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Oh God. We don't know. We do know each other. Well. We really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. Boy, this game Cairo is sucks. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little, I uh, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Ky come sit down, Cairo. We made a room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Oh, sorry. I got a too I got a little too excited. E then how about then how, the, then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few cup few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been a, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Look at this music. <laughs> Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! How will I say that? Wow! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn in ice with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is so sweet and flavorful. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Yeah, I heard these before. <laughs> eh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, y you know? You, dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You need a whole tea set in this classroom? You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Class classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, 
uh, you know, I believe I believe you. <laughs> I believe you, you. Yeah. Well, tea and reading might not be the pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I like the I like her. Calm, beautiful, studious, athletic. I'm just gonna read everything I saw before, okay? But I like her better than the three of us. For now. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like many it's it feels like many it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica, you're so... What was her voice? Monica, you're so... Monica really is a great leader! Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it comes, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes the school events, like festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this liter this pff, I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. It's fucking 20 minutes and my <laughs> It's fucking 20 minutes and my neck is starting to sore. Ah. Uh. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such, a di such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Cairo, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It's like it's, it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, <laughs> I guess. What a laugh. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasies. Fantasy. Pff, pff, I can't speak. <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and the craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Headphone, can you stay f nice? And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly compassionate. Clearly compassionate? 
passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's so obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you off for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book one. I read a horror book once. I just desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone so gentle as you. I guess you can say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another level, another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. B- brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Horror, horror. <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, I just. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like. You usually. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? 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 <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. I looked. It looked like you were working on a poem called "Don't Say It Out Loud." <laughs> and give that back. Give uh, and give that back. <laughs> give it back. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, uh, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sari sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N- no! N- no! <laughs> Natsuki averts her gaze. Eyes. Averts her gaze. Ah, uh, you wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I and un- I understand. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing you can't. You even showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have the writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you, if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Ah. I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. No. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Dot 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 dot. Question mark. Natsuki and Yuri quizzically look at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Fuck. Then next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Cairo? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, um, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what has been on my mind the entire time. 
I never said I would join this club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, shit. What should I do? What should I do? But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Cairo. Oh shit! Oh shit! What do I do? You, you all. I'm defenseless against three girls. What do you mean three girls? There are four of them. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? When it's like this? That's that is. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're all happy now. Yes! One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sari so wraps her arms around me and jumping up and down. Mm-hmm! Ha hey! Ha hey! <laughs> you did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. That makes. Th then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Oh my god! Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think it's with that you can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next mo me m meeting. 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 So we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Cairo. Cairo, I look forward to seeing you. To seeing you how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Cairo, since we're already here, do you want to take a walk together? Oh. That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us, two of us, two of us depart the club room and make our way home. I think it's a good place to save. Just yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Normal. I don't see any difference. I only watched till I think when um, Natsuki gave the cupcakes on YouTube. This is the first time I'm entering this part of the world. <laughs> but it seems pretty normal. Nothing like scary. Anything. Like it's Steam page says. I don't think it's scary. Like a dating simulator. Kind of cute. Yeah. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this. What's watching? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video. Please share and comment. Haha. <laughs> Typical YouTuber stuff you know. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.